while shooters and reloaders, this is a VR thanks to Thorzak777. I can't believe how wonderfully generous you viewers out there are. And when it comes to Thorzak777, the guy's just taking the cake. I'm just totally flabbergasted, flubbergasted, and uh, speechless, and um, just dumbfounded because of what he sent. Not just because it's so thoughtful, but also because of his generosity. So this package came to me from the lovely little town of Polsbo, Washington up there in the great Pacific Northwest. That's a great military town. Lots of Navy there and probably Marines and Coast Guard and all that kind of thing too. I bet you the Air Force is there. And we know in the Seattle area also, Microsoft is there and uh, also Starbucks and um, Amazon is there. So it's a major area of the United States. And I appreciate that area. But anyway, let's look at what um, just sent to me from Thorzak777. Well, first of all, what Thorzak777 sent me was this volume of the Pistol Shooter's Treasury. And it was put together by championship shooter Gil Hebbard. Now, Gil Hebert was very big back in the 60s and 70s, won a lot of NRA bullseye shooting competitions, so he's championship shooter. And he wrote a lot of books, won a lot of awards, like the uh, American Handgunner Award and all this kind of thing. Probably long as my arm. But what he did here was he took this volume and assembled articles from many championship pistol shooters on different topics on how to shoot NRA bullseye. So this is actually like a bible of NRA bullseye competition uh, techniques and tips and do's and don'ts and all this kind of thing to help our shooting. Now if Brian Zins was around back in those days, Gil Hebert would have gotten Brian Zins to write articles in this book. Now, of course, we know Brian is uh, U.S. Marine Corps and won the NRA Bullseye shooting competition like 12 or 13 times, something like that. So he is the current reigning, uh, just big in the sport. But uh, he's not in this article. Uh, not in this book, but uh, th these articles in there are great, and I'm looking forward to reading every one of them uh, from front page to back page. This is a fantastic book, so thanks to Thorzak777. But that's not all he said. The next thing I pulled out of the box was this package of a thousand gas checks. And you know, gas checks, uh, they're like four or five cents a piece. So uh, very generous of Thorzak777 to send me this. And by the way, this book is marked $5.95, but that's in $1965. You're looking at that book would be costing 10 times that today, and I think the book is in the $20, or $20 plus, uh, $25 area just for that book today. And uh, so, again, that's, that's just great generosity by Thorzax. So, anyway, look at these nice gas checks. Fantastic. Now, I don't know who makes these, whether it's Hornady or whether it's Lyman or some other company. But whatever company makes these, these are nice. I've used gas checks from uh, Lyman and Hornady and um, what else? But these are as good as anything I've ever seen. But then the piece de resistance and uh, a green box. And you know what that means. It's RCBS and it's something good because whenever you get a little box from RCBS, there's something good in there. 
And what it turns out is, I didn't even look at this because, you know, I'm like a little kid. I don't look at the label. I want to look what's inside. Anyway, it is a bullet mold. Fantastic two cavity bullet mold. And you know, RCBS and Seiko and Lyman, these uh, iron bullet molds. I mean, look at that. That is absolutely fantastic quality. It's because you have to machine these things and when you're dealing with iron, you get a real good result. With aluminum, you'll get a good result too, but just the nature of the material is just not going to be as high quality. Even if it seems like you're using high strength aluminum, there is still some kind of, it doesn't sound the same. But you look at this, this is, happens to be a 240 grain, 44 caliber silhouette bullet. And uh, that is a, that's a fantastic bullet. Now I know that Thorzak 777 has mentioned that bullet on a number of occasions, uh, but he hasn't had a chance to really feature it in, in the book that we're doing on the 44 Special. But when he gives me this bullet mold, can't wait to get ready to, can't wait to use this thing. The Lee bullet mold handles will fit this. So it'll be a simple matter to put a set of those on here. But uh, what a fantastic, fantastically generous uh, gift that, that uh, Thorazax 777 sent me. So Dave, thanks, thanks a lot and I uh, hope you have a nice day and there was a delay in getting this box because uh, the uh, the delivery didn't work out. So UPS had to have me go over there and pick it up. No problem.